Professor Moon Isaac Barry, and welcome to the first episode on history. Now, today we're going to be looking at a rather obscure topic. Does anybody know hmm, the longest song in the world? Maybe you'll go with that moderate around 70 minute song that's on YouTube. Nah, it's too small. How about a 639 year long song? Sound good to you? Anyways, today we're going to be talking about this exact song titled As Slow As Possible by a man who goes by the name John Cage. John Cage also pr produces many other weird pieces such as 4 minute 33 which is a 4 minute 33 song which had no sound. It, uh, it says that all of the musicians are rested. <laughs> Uh, now, uh, some of his uh, uh, songs involve bathtubs, and when he really wants to get crazy, even musical instruments. <gasps> Anyways, uh, this is uh, by John Cage, as slow as possible. But why is it exactly 639 years? Well, let's start out. In 1997, John Cage proposed a song as slow as possible in front of a crowd to play it in elementary school as expectations. Mm. It was pretty ugly. It was not, not only a mismatch of uh, a lot of songs such as Jingle Bells and Holy Night, but you could uh, <coughs> take one verse, you could choose one verse to repeat and one verse to delete. So, it not only was pretty monotone and incoherent, it also was freaking ugly, man. So, uh, that was, it also had no tempo. In case you don't know what tempo means, I'm going to show you using this phone cover. This is slow tempo. And this would be fast tempo. It's basically the speed of the beat of the song. So, uh, the tempo, you don't have any instruction for tempo. It just it says for the tempo to be as slow as possible. Uh, for using the average piano, the song would uh, be uh, somewhere around 20 to 70 minutes. But that's small compared to the number you saw in the thumbnail. So with this clickbait, no, we're just getting started. Because in 2000, uh, multiple people, love, such as philosophers and musicians, uh, went together at an organ conference and discussed how long uh, it would take, how long it theoretically could be possible to play it. Now, uh, what else are you going to talk about other, uh, at uh, an organ conference other than some obscure p piano song? I mean, are you going to talk about lungs, the brain? I don't know. This is just an organ conference. I'm not a musician. Anyways, it got read a uh, title to Organ Squared, since an electric organ can uh, theoretically play a note forever. However, uh, you have to have some sort of tradition, and in honor of the when the first organ was placed on the German church, Halbert, which was 1361, they uh, made the song 639 years in tribute to when the first, um, what, what's it called? Yeah, organ was placed. So, 2000 minus 1361 is, if you do the math, 639 years. Now, if you'd figured out that the performance started in September 5, 2001, then uh, you'd probably know that it's still going on today, and indeed it is in the German church of Halberg. In fact, only about like three or four months ago, in September 5, 2020, with the first music change since around 2013. So, 
pretty impressive. The, the piece started in 2001, September 5, 2001 to be exact, but it didn't really start because as slow as possible actually starts with the pause. That pause went on for two years and multiple people, uh, hundreds if not thousands, gathered together in the church of Halberd to hear the first noise of the whole thing. On February 5, 2003, the first note was played and hundreds of thousands of people gathered to see one note played on a small orchestra. Isn't it amazing, the work of suspense? Hmm. Anyways, uh, it's still going on today, and it's very amazing to see how far it's progressed. Now, uh, you and me probably won't be around to see the end of this thing, but it, hey, it's nice to know that it probably will end eventually. And some of the musicians who played it will probably die in the lifetime of it. Anyway, thank you everybody for watching, and I'll see you next time.